Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am here for Confessions of a Paper Addict, Cut File Shop, C-O-A-P-A -A on Etsy. And I'm going to be featuring a light layout with one of their designs from the Animal Kingdom collection that was just released this week. So as you can see, I'm doing um, some mixed media on my background. And prior to doing this with my shimmers, I did go in with some, um, the Vicki Booten um, Matte Acrylic Gel and a stencil. And I used that, no, no, it wasn't the acrylic gel. It was the um, texture paste in iridescent glitter. And I used a stencil with that was kind of like a wave. And you'll see that show up on the bottom half of the layout. Now, right here, I'm just um, spreading on some shimmers, uh, watercolor paints. I picked out a few that I felt would go with my design. And um, I'm just kind of um, first started trying to just spray and get them to drip and they, that wasn't working very well. So I ended up using my paintbrush and to get some variation and I really, really love how it turned out. So as you can see, I already backed my cut file took me quite a while because I was not because it was hard to back I just was struggling with figuring out which pattern papers I wanted to use uh, but I love 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 how it turned out um, so I'm going to be um, scrapbooking photos from my honeymoon still I'm I'm getting to the end of those photos um, I'm struggling because Probably half of the photos are underwater photos from scuba diving or snorkeling. And in this particular dot or snorkeling session, we did see this really large sea turtle. I couldn't fit it on the page, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 6x12 companion page for this one, and I will have pictures of some of the sea creatures that we did see and take photos of while, while we were doing this. Now this was 23 years ago, so obviously there were no cell phones or anything like that, so we were just using those underwater disposable Kodak cameras um, for all of these pictures. But I am using, I uh, use papers from the, um, oh, what is that collection? something heart wild heart collection from crate paper and that collection had a whole bunch of holographic leaves and i decided to make those a feature on my layout as well as the cup file and i'm just going to be layering those up i used the entire packet of those um, and i am just layering those up as a border sticking out from under my photo I really like what how what that adds I'll tell you it did make filming this and photographing this layout very difficult because the camera was not liking that holographic glare but in the end I did get uh, get photos and it, it did work out and I don't know where I would have used these in another layout so I decided since I was using a bunch I would go ahead and just use the whole thing so I did um, and then the the embellishing for this page is going to be quite minimal. Um, I find that is typical of my layouts when I'm using a cup file. Um, the cup file really, you know, takes up so much of the page that I think adding too much more embellishment, it, it just kind of takes your eye away from what is important. And on this one, rather than um, layer the photos over the cut file um, there was a, a little bit of dead space in the photos so I ended up layering the turtle over my two photos and I, I think that turned out really well so you'll see in a minute when I start to embellish I'm only going to add two small embellishment clusters one is going to be on the bottom right hand corner of the photo and then one is going to be on the top right corner of the layout. And that's really going to do it for my embellishing and we'll be getting to that part soon. 
but I really wanted to um, stress how awesome Victoria's cut files are. Um, they cut perfectly and um, she's got so many designs. She's got so many designs uh, in this Animal Kingdom um, collection. So I really encourage you to go check them out. I will have a link below and I all for her shop and I'll also have a link for her um, Facebook uh, group confessions of a paper addict she does often uh, give away free cut files in that group they're usually available for 28 or 48 hours I cannot remember and once they're gone they are available in shop in the shop but for a cost so I would definitely um, start following that group because you can get um, quite a few of these amazing cut files for free uh, so yeah, I'll leave both of those links below and in the Facebook group you'll also get um, lots of other um, uh, What I want to say inspiration like layouts from um, members of the group and from the design team and from Victoria herself um, Victoria Virginia. Oh my goodness um, In that group as well. So I'll leave those links below and definitely go ahead and check those out and here I am, I'm gonna add that right hand cluster and I'm using the Stay Wild Puffy Sticker from that same collection. And I'm going to be layering it with, a, or I'm gonna be layering a sticker underneath that actually is from the, it's a crepe paper birthday collection and I wanna say it's Hooray, but it had some tropical type flowers in that collection. So I decided to, pull out some of those flowers and just kind of add a little bit of um, a little bit of a pop of pink and yellow to the layout because at this point the layout's pretty monochromatic and the fact that I've got the aqua paper well that I made the mixed media background and then the turtle is basically with um, teals and aquas and like a uh, navy blue so I'm going to finish up this um, cluster and then I'm going to work on the cluster up top. I also did when I was doing the mixed media, I added a little bit of that wave stencil to the top right corner because I knew that I would be doing an embellishment cluster in that space. And I thought that that would tie that upper corner into the whole light layout by having that wave um, stencil up there as well. So I'm going to use another um, uh, puffy sticker from that same um, collection with the Stay Wild puffy sticker and it's just a leaf and I'm going to fussy, fussy cut some flowers from the 6x6 paper pad of that um, birthday collection from Crate Paper. I'm just going to layer those up with some dimensional and then I'm just going to add some uh, Nuvo drops in the end and kind of scatter those from the top right down to the embellishment cluster on the right and then to the left of the turtle. Those are going to be very hard to see in the video, but you will probably be able to see them in the close ups at the end. Um, so when you look at the close-ups, you'll see them there. And I used uh, the white, and then I used like a glittery aqua color. If you need to know the exact name of that aqua color, um, definitely just leave me a comment below and I will uh, look that up. I just don't have it in front of me at the moment. So here I am putting those Nuvo drops down. Um, when I'm finished with this, I felt like the layout didn't feel grounded. So what I ended up doing, and you'll see me do this in just a moment, is I tore a little section off the top of the layout, and then I'm gonna tear a little strip off of the bottom right-hand corner of the, of the layout, and I'm going to back that with a navy blue patterned paper, which I felt kind of just added that grounding feature to the layout and I really love doing that. I really love either cutting a small section out and layering it with like a darker coordinating paper or tearing it like I did on this one. 
it's I don't know why I find myself doing that quite often on layouts and it just seems to add that finishing touch that I am looking for most of the time so once I'm done with this and I layer um, that background paper up my layout is going to be complete that's the one thing about cut files that I find uh, to be very easy is once you have the cut file done the rest of the layout really is not going to take too long um, because like I said it, it typically is your feature of that page and a lot of times it's hard to fit anything else on the layout besides the cut file and the photos but um, I am going to be challenging myself uh, to I always cut my cut files um, with typically white cardstock occasionally a colored cardstock but typically white so I put a challenge to myself out on the Facebook page that I wanted to use a pattern paper for one of my cut files. So that is what I'm thinking about now. And so hopefully one of my um, cut files for June or one of my layouts for June, I'm gonna try really hard to um, try to incorporate a pattern paper um, with my cut, you know, used as for my cut file and see what I can do with that. Nothing wrong with using them in white and I tend to use them just white because I like to pre-cut a lot of cut files so that they're on hand because I get lazy and I just don't wanna take the time to go on there and, and cut something out. Unless I've got something super specific that I know I want, I just kinda of like to have them ready. Now, if you are cutting them out in white, you also can paint these with acrylic paints. You can spray them with your spray mist, paint them with your shimmers, watercolors, or any other watercolors that you might have. So there's definitely ways to pre-cut your cut files and make them a different color. I have also stamped on cut files before to add a little bit of texture. So that is an idea as well. Um, but I've never used a pattern paper. So that's going to be my goal for next month. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to maybe learn something. Um, if you have any questions about um, maybe something I did that I did not explain, uh, definitely leave your comment below and I will definitely get back to you. And if you're enjoying the videos, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up. That does lead other people to my, my layout or my process videos on YouTube. And um, yeah, um, I hope you will come back for more videos. If you would like notifications, you can also tap that bell button in the top right hand corner and you will get an, I think it's an email notification or just a notification on your phone or through YouTube that I have a new video up. I hope you all enjoyed this and I am going to go ahead and put on some music for you for the finishing of this layout and for the still photos at the end. I wanna thank all of you for coming by and watching. I really appreciate all of your support and I hope you have a great night. Thanks guys, bye.